All right, so now we're going to actually do some measurements. We'll show you how to do the measurements. The first measurement we're going to take is going to be the Keeley length. So the Keeley length is measured from the point of the, the connection here with the Maris, so this joint right here, to the very tip of the claw. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all turn our uh, digital caliper on. We're going to make sure that it's in metric, in millimeters. We're going to zero it, always going to zero our work. And then what we'll do is we'll open it up. We're going to insert one of our uh, points into that area. And then we're going to pull the other one. Actually, this is a little bit too tight. We're just going to loosen it up a little bit so it flows more easily. And we're going to bring it up to the top. And we're going to then bring it down onto that uh, tip of that dactyl. So that is our length for our Keeley length and it's 38.32. Now what we're doing is we're basically describing the measurement from the very tip of the dactyl to the very base of the palm, and that's the idea, okay? So that's our length. Now to do our, our width, we're gonna measure across the palm. The palm is this area right here from the inside to the outside of the keely. And the idea is what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our, our measurement back across, we're gonna zero it, we're going to zero it, and then we're going to open up our calipers and we're going to measure by bringing it down across the palm and then bringing it back together. That way we're ensured to get the widest width. We're always interested in the widest width across the palm, and in this case it's 16.01. In order to measure the Keeley depth, we're going to turn the claw sideways. Again, we're going to zero our caliper, digital caliper, we're then going to bring it, open it up, we're going to bring it down, and we're going to close it back up, and that way we're ensured to get the widest depth, and in this case it's 10.20, okay? Now, in order to get the body lengths, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the distance for our carapace from the very tip of the rostrum to the very base of the carapace. So what we're going to do is again zero after every measure. We're going to put our base, we're going to hook it into the carapace and then we're going to bring it up and then bring it back down so that it touches the very tip of that rostrum. And that is our length. So in this case the carapace length is 53.17 and I just moved it slightly so I got the wrong measure now but it was 53.17. In order to get the post-orbital uh, length, we're going to look at this post-orbital spine right here on the side of the eye. We're going to lock into there, we're going to lock into that ridge, into that spine, and then we're going to bring up to the middle of the carapace. And in this case, the post-orbital carapace length, or the POCL, is what it will show up on our data sheet, would be 43.89. Now the rest of the measures are pretty obvious. We're going to take a width, a body width. We're going to again take our number and bring it across the body and then kind of lay it on top of the head and then kind of bring it together. Not squeeze it though. We're going to just gently touch. We should be able to have the crayfish fall out of the clutch. It shouldn't be so tight that it actually can't drop. And the idea is that it's 24.65. And then the last measure is the width. And what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, we're going to set it so that the calipers sit right between the sternum, and then close it up so that we're again measuring the widest part of the body, and in this case it's 26.46. So this is our body width, or body depth, pardon me, our body width, and our carapace length, our post-orbital carapace length. The last measure is going to be the abdomen. Let's grab a male here. This is a first form male. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to take the abdomen, we're going to put our one side just below the center of the carapace, and we're going to bring it all the way down by kind of gently leveling out that tail so that it's sitting as flat as possible. And what we want to do is bring it down to the base of the telson 
and then bring it back up so that it actually touches the body and not just the CD, not just those hairs. Okay, and that is our measurement. It's 54.14. Now in that case, that is our length. So by adding our abdomen and our carapace length, we have the full body length of the crayfish. The last measurement is the abdomen width. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, hold the tail out. We're going to bring the carapace down, or the digital calipers down across this so that we have the widest part and we want to make sure that we have, so that it's not so hard that it's actually bending the body in half or deflecting, changing, deforming the body in any way. And that is our length. So it's 22.55, okay? Now the last step will be weighing the crayfish on a balance. And we'll show you that in just a minute.